think I cleaned the stove very good, Phil. Do what? I don't think I cleaned this fucking thing very good. Oh, shit. Fluxy. Fluxy fucking yeah. flux juice. Yeah. How's I it? Ran, I mean, I ran a vinegar run, but it's, yeah, I've been through a jar and that, and it's still looking like that, so hopefully it cleans up. You running it right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, how how did the damn uh, did you rewire the uh, uh, the drinking fountain? How's it working? Yep. Uh, I mean, like I said, I'm only through about one and a quarter jars. Let's see where I'm at. Dang, Gabe's got damn people out in the shed with him and stuff. It's running my condenser and my. Give me some biscuits and mustard now, son. I don't mean to put you out any. I'm still at 54 degrees. That's awesome. So it's, hey, it's worth hey, it. On that Beaver thing, is that in Celsius or something <laughs> like that? Whenever you said it was up to like 100, is that because it was like 100 on Celsius? Yeah, they got Celsius thermometers. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I was like, dang, dude, 100 degrees? That's that's pushing her, brother. <laughs> so do you like that little – little? Uh, are you going to get another one, Daisy Cham, together? Probably. Yeah, I think they'd look real cool, too. Like, I was going to Daisy Chain the two I got together, but they mix match. And I was like, man, I'll get another one of them little bevers. You're worried him. about the winter's looks, and I'm running a fucking water fountain. Yeah. <laughs> He's funny. He went and stole one out of the fucking school gymnasium down there. Down <laughs> hey, man, they shut down a bunch of schools not too long ago, and they just let that shit all go to waste. Hey, there you go, Wes. You go down there and just rob you about three of them damn and just daisy chain your what your fucking drinking fountains together, brother. Dude, the one thing is that it takes a That'd ton be of pressure. It takes a ton of pressure to push through this thing. Like the pump for harbor freight, it won't run my condenser and the reflux. I'd run two pumps. Shut that door. So, are you, I, turn that back around there, Wes. Are you just letting it run, like down, then going back down the drain or something? Hang on. Can I put my camera? Is there a way to do that? No. No, it's running into a cooler. Well. Okay, I thought I seen it. I thought I seen like you had the daggone the knob wedged open or something where it would run it out the top and then back down into the cooler. No, it's. I just oh, okay. put a, I see what you did. The knob's gone. I just opened it up and put a barb fitting on it. Yeah. And then that means that runs down into my condenser. Then, like I said, the other one runs up to the reflux. Hold your pinky out, you big headed bastard. You know, there you go. I'm going to hit my vape with it like you do that cigar. That's how I spoke my crack pipe, son. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, like, I like my I like my, I, I like my uh, light bulb with my damn pinky sticking out. <laughs> that's the start to my other still. Yeah. You got a mignon. Yeah, that's going to be my cat. I'm going to come off here with the arm and get over and down to the top. Heck yeah. I had to get Phil and Easy to do my uh, solder to stainless welding or soldering. That was not working for me. You got to solder. You got to heat up the stainless. Yeah, I, mean, I got one to stick, but I was scared it was going to leak, so I went and had Easy fix it. And I was like, "Here, while you're at it, won't you just do these other four joints for me?" That's right. Yeah, honestly, I just had a bunch of parts laying around. I only had to buy a couple of fittings to make this parrot, so I figured, why not? My bag. Hey, there's Mark Morgan one or two. We need to like put a one or something out beside his name. <laughs> I don't remember which one's which. Hell yeah. Oh, 
I'll just go get my bag. Does that feel better on it? It's hard to it's not easy to relate. This is. No, I sent you on those shirts. I don't think like, I gave you my address. It's just probably, it's probably just in flame. Do we need them delivered? Way loose, you know. It's delivered at the sweatshirt. I'll pick up there. I got two two shirts and a sweatshirt. What's going on, fellas? Who's nursing the sweatshirt? What are you into, cool. Big Phil? What's going on? Dylan, brother, how you been? Doing good, man. Hey, I forgot to get some of that green corn when I was up there. I'm gonna have to send you some money and just let you hold it for me till I get there and get it. Okay. Um, yeah, I gotta send you some money for a t-shirt, man. Those look pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, I, I need one of them too, Phil Billy. Okay. Matter of fact, yes. one, one for me and my old lady. Fifteen a piece pickup, twenty bucks shipped. Hell yeah, I'll, I'll do definitely do the fifteen or the twenty, but we'll c probably come get it when I come get my coin. Okay. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> skinny Pete. Hey. For a minute, my Wi-Fi is working. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. I figured you at the damn casino again. <laughs> Losing my ass. Well, I'm hoping I win that lottery, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. I heard somebody talking about green corn. I, I want to hear more about the green corn. I need some of that too. Hell yeah, that old hawker. Yeah. Well, well hawking green. That oxycontin <laughs> green, yeah. <That's> <laughs> right. it's, it's pretty good. Hell it yeah, makes that's a right. good sour mash too. Dude, I'm gonna, some of that shit tastes like butterscotch, man. That wasn't that the green? Uh, yeah. You tried the green, you liked it. Yeah, yeah you damn right. Dude. Yeah, the That's green. They say it's, I've heard it's the best. Hell yeah, that stuff was awesome, buddy. That's what I've heard about it too. I, everybody I've talked to that's tried it loved it. Hell, you let me have it. It's hard to find. I'd oh. love to get some. I got some fresh coming in. But I don't know if I got a That's skill to make How it like it that, fresh? Bro. Where's it coming from? Thanks Ohio. Coming. Ohio. Everybody's in Ohio. If your seats were ready two months ago, they were wet, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is the best place to grow corn. I ain't, well, where yeah. the hell are they growing it? Indoors? It's, it's, no. not, it's a little early for it, corn. It's no, last year. It's hard. Huh? Last year's harvest. Oh, okay. It, it ain't ready till December or January. Yeah. If you got somebody. Yeah, dry it out. Corn, yeah. Unless they're in Texas. Shit, yeah. All right. What's everybody drinking? Not, I'm not drinking my damn Evan Williams. I'm drinking some of my. Uh, this is some of my blackberry and pineapple brandy. Shit, yeah. That sounds good, dude. <laughs> it is. I just made some pineapple and coconut. I love it, man. Hell yeah, I was trying to make a pina colada, but uh, it didn't turn out quite as good as I was hoping, but it's still pretty it, damn good. It carries over a little bit. It's not, it's not real strong. It's not as strong as I thought it'd be, but it's still, I like it. Oh, I'll yeah. tell you, my favorite is uh, uh, green grapes. Make a grop out of the green grapes. Man, that stuff's so sweet and good. It's like yeah. bubble gum, man. Big Phil, I'm going to bring you some of that shit I got, that pineapple and coconut. See what you Hell think? Yeah. But we're going to trade, dude. I got to have some of that damn Pretty green. Good stuff, corn. man. I'll probably hey, just Phil. Give you some man, money that's on good. Stuff. I'll probably that's got better as it sat there. It's, it's come and get been sitting there a while. It's got better. Damn. Hey, Phil, good. we missed the damn thing down there in Alabama. This guy was waiting on the new wheat to come in. You know what I mean? He had some left over in the bin. He was selling damn one ton super sacks for a hundred dollar bill. Oh no! no shit. shit! Yeah, no shit. <laughs> that was that was right at the beginning of March. So I heard, yeah, I, wasn't it, Pete? Wasn't it beginning of March? Yeah, it was, just, it was a couple of weeks ago. It's gone now. But yeah, I mean, he was selling yeah. a whole super sack for a hundred dollar bill. Was hard red? I've been, I've been drooling sure. that damn that site you showed me with the fruit. Dude, I'm telling you, I don't He's know. He's got anywhere near Indiana. It'd almost be worth it to go get a whole fucking truckload. 
Hell yes, it would. Oh yeah, I mean, you got to wait well, for it. Well, it's as man, close to I, as you're going to find. I mean, I showed a place to West, but it's in Indiana, and it's the last stop before fruit and vegetables hits the landfill. Oh, I mean, yeah, I got just one day from going bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, he like, sells whole boxes of bananas for like two dollars. Yeah, like yeah. five bucks for a case of pineapples. Well, I mean, going yeah, bad whole, is just mashed in, man. That's, yeah. yeah. Hey, a whole case of pineapples for, was it $2, Wes? Oh. Yeah. Three yeah, for five. Shit, dude. Yeah, three cases for $5. No shit. I know, like hey, I know this chick, she's a dumpster diver. She, she I was going to say goes, the exact same thing. I'm going to say some dumpster diving brandy. <laughs> she, she said that all these... Like she'll go to all these yes. and they'll have tons of shit in their dumpster and she'll say it's all good. Yeah. I'm like, man, well, I don't care if it's rotten. I don't fucking for me. That's why hey, I used to get in the dumpster. Oh, well, that's the first time. Wayne. Wayne from Ozark called me one day and he was like, Yeah, man, they went down there to Aldi's and got in there and they feeding their chickens. You know, they just had a bunch of lettuce and shit like that. They feeding their chickens. But it was literally like I am half of his truckload full of just shit in yeah. their dumpster. Yeah, that's when you want it, man. Tom, somebody said, where's that at? It's, uh, a what is it, Wes? Andershock? Andershock. Andershock. I don't it's know. It's down here in Illinois. That's how far up it is. Yeah, it's, it's right up there. Right it's Lake Michigan. It's four hours from us, though. Yeah, it's Andershock Produce. Hell, last time I checked, that feels though he had a damn ton of corn. I need to go down there and get a bunch more. <laughs> yeah, Anderson, produce, he literally has four cases of pineapples for five dollars. No shit, that would be I, awesome, dude. Yeah, I, I got a few thousand. Those are just right, corn. man. Those aren't even turning black yet. No, I damn. I'd Hell yeah, Bill, I'm gonna come down there and hit you up for a bunch more of that corn, bro. I just got 1,400 pounds of Jimmy Red in. Oh, shit. Green and yellow, <laughs> green beans. Oh, don't even tell me that, bro. <laughs> I got about 900 pounds of Ohio Blue. No shit, dude. And I got more coming. I got more coming. Hell yeah, I'll be down that way. I'll just send you the money on Venmo, and then I'll come get it. Okay. All right. I'll just I'll let you know a day before I come or whatever. Yeah, I appreciate you, brother. Man, Did you see that, Phil? Mangoes. Oh, hell yeah. Damn. Dollar Dollar a That's a good deal right there, man. Hell yes. That pineapple and, and coconut sugar I made was pretty damn good, dude. It hey, wasn't quite it. as good as I was expecting. It's pretty good. Send that to Vince. He knows. I told him the other day, I think he wants me to load the trailer up and go get it. <laughs> he only does. Shop. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tom, go get us a bunch of it, bro. I'll buy a bunch of those pineapples from you. Oh, I'm telling you, I, I bought uh, 10 pineapples at Christmas time, dehydrated them all, and then mm -hmm. I've got damn fucking what 80 some gallons of pineapple coconut <laughs> juice outside. No. Of oh, no, shit, dude, that's exactly what I'm doing, yes, sir. Hell yeah, that shit's that shit pretty good. I'm gonna say big Phil in a, a jar of it before I go yeah. over there. I got I got that pineapple coconut, I think it's dole or whatever in the big yeah. cans. I was buying yeah. it for two dollars a case. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that was a deal right there. Cause that's got a lot of sugar in it too. Damn oh, yeah. That's what I was using. Hey Tom. Yeah. Don't do what I did. I had freaking two sacks of apples, forgot about the sons of bitches, and I couldn't figure out where all these damn gnats was coming from. Oh, I no. put them sons of bitches in the spare room and went in there, man. And it was a bag of fucking <laughs> applesauce, man. That was some nasty shit. Uh, been there. I've been there. Man, those damn those damn fruit flies are hard to get rid of, too, man. He's like, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> they, they, once you get them, they're there all year. Till yeah, the I time. found out a good way yeah, to get no rid shit. of them. I they're took a jar and, and I put a funnel on top of the jar and I put <laughs> some of my old pineapple mash in the bottom and they'd fly in through the funnel and they couldn't get out. Hell yeah. And I trapped That's the a hell of a lot of them that way. That's a good plan there. Hell yeah, I've got them. I can't get rid of them for shit. I, I have them about nine months out of the year because I yeah, have I, like... I keep them too. I have so many mashes going at the same time, man. It just ain't no getting... And then, yeah. 
if you fool with sticky stuff like honey and yeah. maple syrup, all these experiments I do, and wine, any type of wine you make. Yeah. Speaking of experiments, did you try the fruit juice or just the fruit juice water? Did you try some of the concentrated juice out of that room? I did. It's good and syrupy, but I wanted I want what I was trying to do is I, yeah, I followed what you want. Is get the water. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. it is concentrated. It's good. Yeah. Uh, but the water that comes out the other end ain't no fucking good. Yeah, it tastes I, like doo-doo. I've, I've tried that too. I've done but concentrated juice is good. I've done that. Yeah. But you yeah, the water is just concentrated. It's just real dull tasting, man. It's just yeah. blah. There's too just bland. Nothing. Yeah, yeah there's nothing bland. good about it at all. Yeah. I want some of that shit Phil had that was like Coke or uh, hell, it was like butterscotch. That shit was good, Phil. Oaxaca and green. Hell oh, yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah. Let's talk about Phil Billy's new thumper. Hey, Phil, do you sour mash any of that Oaxacan? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good sour mash too. I heard Is that, that what it makes that a real good sour to? mash. Hell yeah! Gonna... What about oh. what about the new thumper? Yeah, I want to. Talk, yeah, it's, so I, we need Nick on here. Dog of my damn bypass, crazy. Well, yeah. hey. Hey, before we get any deeper up, Nick texted me just a little bit ago, and his dad's in the hospital having really oh, yeah. bad seizures, so y'all oh, keep him in his prayers. prayers. Yeah. I know he didn't do that intentionally to dog anybody or yeah, no shove doubt, him in but... us. I was kidding about it, but still caught yeah. getting on there and trying to say a bypass doesn't work, and I'm just getting sick of listening. To that yeah, no, ba- no doubt, bro. No, uh, bypasses so, work, but... If you got a drain on a thumb, that's what I was going to say to you. A hey, drain user. does the same thing. You can run it through there. When you get to your hearts, open up that drain, drain yeah. it all out, shut it, and then infuse. But the benefit of the bypass is that you can start with a full <laughs> thumper of infusion yeah. sauce and, and bypass all that, and then open it up, and that way you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Did you get my message about putting a spool on top instead of the jar? No. Yeah. Where'd you send it to? Did you send it to the Phil Billy Moon? I just know I commented on on some on the post I think that you made on it. Commented. Oh shit! I on on that jar. If you go like to just the the uh, the ferrule, the two inch ferrule into like a spool, and then put another valve at the top. You can or a side glass. Yeah. Just fill that whole tube up and then dump it. And then yeah. shut the bottom valve off, open the top one, and refill it. That way, it's easy yeah. to refill. Yeah, yeah that's, I was that's gonna like fills, man. I want one like fills. Yeah. That's how I got on my still, but that thumper's so small, I didn't want right. to add no extra weight. Extra right. weight. Yeah. To you'd have to stiff the fucking... top. You'd have to use some twenty-two ounce or something on the top. <laughs> yeah. Stiff it that's down. what I want. One like fills where you can dump, where you can keep infusing. Hell yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, that's what, that's hey, what Phil. I'm working on too. Did you get that bead What's roller? That? Not yet. I want. I went to go order it, but then my farmer hit me up for fourteen hundred dollars, and um, and then I had to buy a bunch of kegs. It ended up costing me a thousand dollars. So had to. Huh? I, so if yeah, you get that, that instead of doing a How much, bro? piece of copper for a spool, take some of that sixteen ounce copper and oh, yeah. run your beads in it to stiffen the 16 ounce and then put your two inch barrels on it after you see yeah, it. Yeah. And that's not yeah, that much is. weight on there compared to a two inch piece of hard pipe. Hey, yeah. bro, I'll send you some money there and help you cover that shit and then, then just yeah, cover it on they, my uh, green corn. I'm yeah, I want some that green corn too. I wish they'd come out with a, a lighter weight butterfly valve. You know, I know, this, I was... Just All saying that stuff, the other man, day, it's made heavy. for like 300 PSI. It's heavy as shit, man. It's, it's made for dust, you know, high yeah. pressure gases yeah. and, and liquids, man. Yeah, that's what we don't mean. we don't need that. You know, we like that's three true. to five PSI on most yeah. of the setups. Do you know what the weight is? There's a lot of weight ones. They you weigh 10 pounds a piece. Yeah, they weigh a ton, man. Even I got an inch and a half are fucking heavy. Yeah, I got one that was I don't know, man. It, I think it was a three way. I got a three way, man. And that son of a bitch, man, I, it's 20 fucking pounds, man. It, it's just alone. It's about to be in the fucking lid on my steel, yeah. man. I was like, no, nah, I can't use that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's heavy shit, man. I sent it back. So that thumper I'm building suspended, like what yours is. And the guy wanted to know about putting that thumper with that butterfly or the infuser on the top. 
Yeah. You know, I asked yeah. him to wait That's with the I sight mean. glass, a two inch sight glass. Oh, and that, that that butterfly valve, he told me them sons of bitches weigh 10 pounds a piece. Yeah, they're Those heavy. Yeah. They're, they're heavy as fuck. I know Those, that. Yeah. The spool's not as bad. Damn. The spool on there is not too bad. But I, I got some. About that. I got some off Amazon a while back, and and they're not not too bad. They the place that has them that doesn't even sell them anymore. They had the black handle instead of the blue handle. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, they were they weren't too heavy, but so there's two problems with those fuckers: is one, they're too heavy, and two, it takes so much fucking yeah, pressure. You got to lift up before you turn, you know. You got to take the, lift it up to dislodge yeah. the little catch in it, and then you know turn, and it, it's it's yeah. it's a lot of yeah it's too, not much, too much too much aggravation. I'd love to have one of those like Phil, man. That son of a bitch is nice. Now the one you got on there, the blue one, does that have like the little handle on it? You got to pull up to turn. Yeah, it's yeah, easier. It's That's why I got that. I got that for Nick. I was like, man. Nick's like me. He's got a big old hand, and I sure he ripped the fucking top of it off. <laughs> yeah. So I got that easy one that you squeeze. It's a little more expensive, yeah. little, but they're both heavier. Than both. What about? Well, I was gonna say weight wise. Do you see a lot of difference between that and just the ball, the round ball handled one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you know that's the only thing I don't order stainless wise straight from China because I got a direct connection um, with China. And I order my stainless parts from them. And uh, they they make really good. I mean, that's where everybody gets their stainless from. Even if you get it from here, it originated there. Right. Um, oh, yeah. Most all the all the, they? Yeah. But, uh, oh. but, yeah, I, they're so heavy that I can't order them from China. I got to order them from Amazon. It would be nice yeah. if we could get them to make a, a lighter weight one. Yeah, yeah, like just a light duty little. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be thick at all. I mean, literally, these are made for 300 psi, and we just don't need that shit. Phil, I want to hear more about your craft. Say it again, brother. It cut out. I want to hear more about your craft. Oh, my God. Anybody else catch that? No. Not cutting in that on me. I want to hear more sorry, about money. your absence. I want to hear more about your absence. Oh, absence. Oh, absence. Absence. Okay. Yeah, man. Um, I did an absinthe and I used this old ass recipe and it called for way too much wormwood. I mean, just so much wormwood. That it uh it it wasn't my favorite. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'd say I'm that's a pretty it. tough recipe to get this right. I'm gonna try my own soon, my own little take on it. And I'm gonna use less wormwood. I'm gonna use more fennel seed and more uh star anise. And I'll I'll come up with a good one. I will. I'll, I'll come up with a good didn't one. Didn't you just make one recently with the uh, flower petals? What were they? The high sun. That was one? that was a gin. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was hibiscus. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a gin. Did you watch the uh, uh, bar card with Alan there last night about the absence and the keys? No, I don't. I haven't seen that one. That was actually pretty good. It was kind of. It was talking about when Hemingway was down there in this one spot in the Keys and about how because he was a diabetic that he couldn't use sugar when they lose it. So, so he would get champagne and it was some kind of big dollar ass champagne and they still got some down there. But they talk about this fucking bar. They don't have anything in there that uh, that's under $300 a pour. Oh, no <laughs> shit. Damn. <laughs> I was gonna say and I've never heard of it. Now we know why. Damn. To stay on that island, they said an average daily expense is thirty five hundred dollars a day, and that's not your lodging. That shit must be all right. Yeah, we used to go down there and stay in the Keys a lot, man. They're funny down there. It's like people move down there and they want to develop and build a house, but once they do, they don't want anybody else to. Yeah. You know, it's like. 
Yeah, when I was in the Marine Corps, we stopped down in uh, Vietnam, Puerto Rico, and then St. Uh, what was St. Croix, Christiansted. Stopped in a few places. First place I ever had the uh, pina colada that was real. And that shit was awesome, man. That's what made me want to make that pina colada moonshine. My dad well, got some uh, Isla Marada brandy down, down there. St. Croix, you get this banana, or not St. Croix, St. Thomas. Yeah. They have a banana brandy yeah. in the bottle. Yeah. Looks like a bunch of bananas. Yep, yep. I remember Shit's that, pretty dude. good. Yeah, hell, I remember that, dude. What well, are you polishing on there? You clean something up and you building? Cleaning. But hell, Going uh, to the show tomorrow. Just little copper beer koozies. Cool. Hell, yeah. That's cool as hell. Big Phil, put them, uh, get off of here, dude. Put them ten right koozies in, Phil, and just stick your yeah. beer down in it. Uh, that's no nice. matter what, I'm going to get off of here, but I want to uh, I want to make sure. I'm just going to send you some money, and you'll know what it's for for some of that green corn. And then and then uh, if there's any extra, I'll just get something else. You're going to get some of them right. T-shirts, ain't you? Yes, yes. A couple of them, two of them. Yeah, I'm going to definitely get one of them. Yeah, we're AM T-shirts. We changed we changed it up just a little bit, but the di design and everything's just like it, just a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Different. yeah, it's okay, shit. It don't matter to me. Just one for me and one for my old lady. Where's the, right. Where's Damon at tonight? He uh he's working nights for the seven. He started on Monday. He gets done Sunday night, and he's working uh seven twelve hour shifts all from seven to seven. He's hating life. Oh, no doubt. Seven to seven was well, eight. It's eight o'clock. He's no doubt, man. Yeah, he's, he's about to no die, doubt, dude. All right, see you, brother. All right, Take see you, brother. See you, brother. Be good. Yeah, it's uh, hey, Phil, what about them ball valves? What about them ball valves from Oak Steels? Instead of using them big blue ones, what about them lighter weight ones? They're still heavier than fuck. I don't uh, think there's any lighter weight than the butterfly valves. Right. The that ball valves are horrible, calm. man. The ball valves are oh, they're they're a lot heavier than the butterflies. Well, that's what I was meant to say, the butterfly. I'm sorry, the I was yeah. yeah. But yeah, I just wondered if them other ones was a little bit fucking lighter weight. They are than the handle ones. Let me get that in the eyes and I'll show you what I, what I got. Them sons of bitches yeah. still weigh right at about eight pounds. Yeah, I ordered the ones from uh, <clears throat> like these. Yeah, I've ordered those and they come in and they're, they're more expensive than buying the ones from Amazon and they weigh the same because uh, the shipping on them, it's so, so expensive to ship that heavy son of a bitch. Well, bam. Oh my God. Bill, who are you using for your shipping? I use UPS. I've so, tried to tell him. I know. I, I get a discount. And I use PayPal for all my payments. And it's already in there. So it just makes it so much easier. Well, you can do that with this one, too. We'll talk about it later. But I'm telling you, once you get this thing set up, I think you'll like it. Because we had a shipment UPS that was going to be $124. And when I got hooked up with this shipping company, we went ahead and, and shipped it through them, and it went down to $63. Yeah, I'm going to have to try them out, see what's yeah. up. Because I, I think I you like stuff, it. I ship stuff, some, like I shipped something to Sweden this week, and it cost $80 to ship it to Sweden, bro. That ain't bad. It, was, it, was, a, it was only about yeah, a four-pound package. These are the ones I've, I've got. Yeah, that's ones I was now just it's looking not, at. It's not a Dernord. It was some other company that had them on Amazon, and they were about $5 cheaper than the Dernord, and they weigh about the exact same. But they're not too bad, but the ball valves are the same one that, I think that's the same one that fucking they have at uh, uh, Oak Stills. It is. With that's the black where handle. Come from. With yeah. the black handle. Yeah. Yep. I'll, I'll show you the name here. Let me find it on Amazon just quick here. Better one. B E D U A N E. B E D? B E D. -E -D -U -A -N. B E D U A N. 
They're twenty six dollars on Amazon, and they got them back in stock now. That's good to see. But that's the cheapest one I've seen, and they're as light as any of them. Oh, I'm sorry. That's an inch and a half. Let me see. Yeah, the two inch are twenty nine. But that's still a lot. Well, it's about five bucks cheaper than the Dornords. It's getting there, Phil. Hell yeah. If, if anything, up, but... you, you have was... a, uh, a clean still after this. <laughs> hey, Wes, is it, just, um, uh, is it just a grain run, Wes? This is all tails and bullshit that I didn't oh, okay. I'm trying to make just a high proof neutral of this column, but it's the first run. I just finished building it, so it's still had a bunch of flux build up, it looks like. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You, you could rerun that again and just let it eat. You know what I mean? Clean it up. Right. I dumped that first quarter guard because it was nasty looking. Right. This one, this one don't look too bad. What's your proof I'll, at? I don't know. We'll find out. This I'm drinking is 130 and it's pretty pretty hot. Hell yeah. Um, this, this better be hotter than that or uh, I ain't doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it bites a little bit more than that hunter proof Evan Williams. But it's tasty. It's got a good taste of it. What's up, guys? The taste has improved on it since it's sat there. It's been sitting there a couple months now. What's up, brother? Where's Damon at? He working? Ah, someone got to make some money. That's right. So he's working seven in the evening to seven in the morning. Yeah, man, was he working swing shift? No, it's they got a. He, he's working over at uh, Pfizer Corporation. And, uh, he's doing all their HEPA filters and stuff like that. That and that way they're shut down at night. Can you see that, Bill? <laughs> yeah. What you got right there? About one eighty. One seventy. One one eighty seven. Almost one ninety. It works. Damn. What, 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 what kind of column you run that out of? I'll show you. Hold on a sec. Do you have uh, scrubbers on it? Bubble plates or? Nope. I've built reflux. It's a reflux column. So you just have using you marbles have you seen and. Them? Mesh or what? Have you seen Phil's glass column? Yeah. It's a replica of it in all copper. Okay. So you packing it with mesh and marbles or what? It's got marbles in the bottom of, I don't know, about that... three quarters of the bottom. Then it refluxes up here. Cool. Oh, it's got the flag mater. Oh, wait a minute. Is that? That's one of those Boca Bobs or whatever, isn't it? I don't know. It's got cross tubes that go through it. I mean, yeah, it ain't really. It's... Yeah, that's one of those. I don't really what do they call them? Boca Bob or Boca Cob or Boca. What's what your cop look like? Is it I've never seen anybody build them. Copper? I just saw the glass column and like that, so I made a copper yeah, column. Those, looks those, are, well. those are pretty nice. They they work oh, great on kegs. Of, it's doing what I wanted. It's coming out almost you got, one thing. On a keg? Yeah. Yeah, that's an awesome on a keg. I think Eric Ayers has one of those, and this is the first me on to that man. They they crank out some high proof. It's got like an internal the flag mater in there, huh? and it drips it's into the out Yeah. So each one of those uh, crosses through it. Forget the baby. Yeah, I get one. So it crosses through it, and then there's, there's yeah. four crosses inside there. Oh, it's it's. It's just made with uh, tubing going back and forth. In. Yeah, let me see it. Shut the door. Okay, so that's that's not the Boca oh, Bob, but it's similar. Yeah, that's, that's a deflagmator kind of built into the... Yeah, that's pretty I built, cool, man. I built all that, so I don't really know if anybody's building something quite like it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's cranking out some high proof, man. That's good. Hell Yeah. Yeah, no shit. No. It's coming out of that. It, what would you say that was? It one eighty five. No, one eighty five, one eighty seven. Hell yeah, that that's... can't beat that, man. Right. It'll I clean mean, up the shit. What, what, yeah, what, 
have something you don't have to add bubble plates to to get all that shit yeah man that's that's awesome sitting here watching UK get, about? about to get their ass handed to him by texas a&m wes yeah what temp is your keg running at 180 on the button that's your vapor temperature mm -hmm. that's in my uh reducer you can kind of see it over the lip of the keg right there right. this is the first run on that keg too and it's not leaking phil fingers crossed <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> I was worried about it for sure. <laughs> hey, I'm, Tom, I know you you posted about this a little bit. How many of you guys are up there in Ohio that got hit with the damn tornadoes and shit? I didn't get the tornadoes, but we got a storm. Which one's that? <laughs> Who's talking? Wes, it was it went above it went above damn up. Uh, Feel everybody went up above Rigsby, so it, it, okay. it didn't hit anybody we know that I know. Selena of. was the town I think it hit bad. Selena, nah, it was um, Lakeview, Indian Lake, Russell's Point, Wapakoneta. Yeah, I'm down here in North Carolina now, but I mean, I used to be up there in South Dakota, Minnesota, and from my last damn storm I went through, I was I got caught on the interstate, and the fucking hail was. The size bigger than softballs. I'll just put it that way. Bigger than softballs, closer to the volleyball size. And Buddy, mine was on his motorcycle car. last night and got caught in that hail. Oh, hell. That'd be rough. Yeah. That'd be fine to me an overpass real quick. He did. He said he all sketchy as shit for a minute. <clears throat> and y'all ever bevel some copper without having a tool to do it? Say again? You ever beveled some copper without having the tool to do it? Nope. Nope. The fuck up on you? No, I sold a old steel to my brother, and when I got it back, my worm wasn't in it. So, but they put this damn piece of shit in there, and ain't neither end of it beveled. So now I'm trying to figure out how I can just go ahead and oh. use this, but I have to bevel it. You talk oh, about man. making it to where flaring you put it. a fitting on it? Flare it. Flare, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've I got a flaring tool. Yeah, I got flaring kits. Just buy Yeah, it. well, I don't have one, so I'm asking if y'all know a redneck way to do it. Yeah, oh, go to fucking AutoZone and borrow the fucking tool. You can get a ball bearing Five if bucks. you get one large enough and try to hammer it into it to flare it, but that's... They're only like $5 on Amazon, bro. Yeah, they're not, they're not too bad. Yeah, I mean, a tomorrow. flaring tool? Or whatever yeah, it goes in a drill. I only need it one fucking time. No, nah, nah, you're going to need, have it, man. You're you're gonna need it. it. It's a tool. Find and does it come in different sizes or just one size? Yeah, four or five of them. Find something tapered. Fuck that hammer. Drive it on there. It'll fucking flare out. Hey, yeah, just get you a, oh, no a marble or a ball bearing. It's big. And just hammer it on there, and it'll. Do you got a step bed? It up and it'll knock it out. I just want to take one. My stomach's hurting. Stomach's you hurting. can put a step bed in and kind of ram it a little bit. It'll, it'll make it go wide. Don't hit yeah, it too I much. I thought about that. Hey, nope. I put a flathead to one end of it, and it kind of worked for a minute. Just remember the time you fucked that virgin. It yeah. has to spread out for you. Yeah, I wish it was that easy like she was. <laughs> I might have a flare until somewhere, Gage. Hey, are you going to be home tomorrow? I need to come get that keg. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'll tell you right now, I've already got somebody that wants to buy this whole setup. He's going to come today, but I kind of ignored his messages because I want to see what it does with another keg. I got you. I, shit, say, I mean, sell it to him. Don't my, Who cares? We'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm on the lookout for some kegs around here, man. It's, you think I'd be able to find them a little easier being a college town. Uh, Take it in your bitch. It was fun as hell. Marketplace? Yeah, that's from that look. 
I see I always see a bunch in Ohio and Tennessee, but I don't I don't see a bunch here. And it's like, damn man, this big college town. You'd think they'd be all over the place. Happy it, birthday, it, man. That's what I need to do is go to one of them fraternity parties, hang out and wait till everybody gets drunk, <laughs> passes out. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Big Mac. Happy birthday, man. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Which one's Matt? Happy birthday, buddy. Big Mac. Oh, shit. You can get a flare and tow gauge at damn Harbor Freight for 30 bucks. Yeah. That well, yeah, maybe, uh, any of the cars. Amazon. Car hey, Gage, what size coil is that? A fucking small. <laughs> Type in quarter inch. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's tool. fucking pinky size, man. It quarter like inch flaring tool. Hey, like right here you go, Gage. Here's you a cutter and everything on Marketplace for twenty five dollars. Where at? You want me to send it to you? Yeah, send it to me. I got to go out tomorrow and buy a fitting. He took a fitting off my damn condenser bowl and lost it too so i'm either gonna have to build a whole new fucking condenser bowl for this cool or try to fucking redo the cool that came in it yeah that's either quarter or three eighths it definitely ain't uh half this is three yeah, after right after having them problems with my damn keg still the other day i went ahead and bought that old fucking viver back that way i had a backup to run yeah, you can't go wrong with that. I'm trying to find me one of those five gallon vapors for a thumper. That's what I use for a thumper. That's I've been I'm looking for one too. And I fucking I decided to go fuck it. I'm gonna go with my 15 gallon and eventually I'll get one. Yeah, I think about using one of them little pony kegs, but hey uh you can probably get a Vever, five gallon Vever cheaper than a damn keg. I don't know, man. I I, I got one. Um, I got that's what I got me is a little seven and a half gallon, and I got a five gallon for a thump. Where you at, Santa? Lexington. Yeah, well, at least when you're done with the Vever, you can go cook a pot of chili when you're done. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. dude. I make so much shit in that Vever pot. I make apple pie. I make everything. I cook that shit. I tell right you one thing I got is one of my inventions. I took one of those little end pieces for the uh for the ferrule, you know, just a regular end cap, two inch end cap. Uh, actually it's two and a half on the on the beverage. And I'm gonna drill two holes in it, tap it out, and put the the uh exhaust and the little spinner for a pressure cooker. I'm gonna make a little pressure canner out of it. Hell so yeah. For pressure cannon, too. Oh, a little yeah. pressure relief. I got the fittings going there. I, I just got to take time, drill it out, and uh, tap it. It'll make a nice little pressure cooker. Pressure canner, whatever. We do a lot. I'll do a lot of canning and make a lot of soups and stuff with meat in it. You, go. you got to have a pressure canner when you use meat. Hey, man, I just do 20 minutes in the fucking pot and boiling water. Make sure it's about that much. 20 minutes. And if it don't turn black, it's fucking good to eat. <laughs> That's right. This is your smell, Ted. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I've had food poison a couple times, but I'll be all right. Shit. I'd rather have food poison come off the food I make than my granddaughter. We got some damn yogurt earlier in the week. And it was good. According to the date, it was good to go. And that little girl, she got a hold of that damn yogurt. Dude, all night long, she was throwing up. All night damn. long. Damn. That it, it Every bit of 12 hours before she took, she turned around and she could keep something in her stomach. I'm like, God. At, at first, we thought it was the flu. You know what I'm saying? But then we... She was kind of pieced it together and realized now the last thing she ate was yogurt. And my wife says, you want to try it? I said, hell no. I don't give a damn what the fuck the date is. Throw that shit out. That's the last thing she ate. 
I mean, uh, it was over. Yeah. Every bit of 12 hours, she turned around and started coming too, you know. But fuck that. That's like me on those sipping creams, man. I can't, I can't handle them. I, that, I think I'm a little lacto intolerant anyway, man. It's a sipping cream. I just can't do it, man. I've tried them. Sipping cream, if you make it yourself, I trust it. But when you start buying somebody else's stuff, you don't know if it went warm yeah, or not. I, I, you don't know. I just, just, just the milk and liquor and the cream and liquor just don't work for me. Yeah. Right, Bailey's, fellas, Bailey's, has got his, Bailey's is in coffee. You know, I can do that. Thank you, brother. See you, Pete. I'll tell you tomorrow, brother. All right, man. Take it easy, Have man. Have a good one, buddy. All right. No, I, I mean, I like some damn, some damn sipping cream. You know, I like the banana and strawberry. And you know, I do it up with pudding. I get that damn pudding mix going, and that's all I start my sipping cream. And I love it. But if that shit Good. goes warm, if it goes warm at any given time, you're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. I know. You got to keep her in the fridge. Man. Yes. When I make them to take them like to Maggie Valley or something like that, dude, I take them, stick them straight in the fridge as soon as they're done. And then we, before that morning, before we leave, <laughs> I stick them all in my big, big 75 quart cooler, stack them in there, and I got it drive right by the ice machine. It's right out here. And I put about four or five bags of ice on top of it. And that's how yep. I ride. Yep. All the time. You know, something I'm surprised. I've, I've seen those little countertop ice makers and then you see the big huge ass ice makers why don't they kind of make something a little bit in between come on Vever. bill's got one does he yeah it's a nice little what, the Vever? <laughs> yeah it's yeah. a Vever. Is it really? yeah yeah well, I, I haven't seen it yeah they make a, a little a little one uh it's it's like one big bag it's like 25 pounds of ice oh, that's plenty I, oh, I mean, that's just it. That does 25 a day. That's its rating, 25 pounds a day. Well, it probably make more a day, but when it gets full, yeah. all of it together is like right. one big 25-pound bag. Okay. How much of those? Um, let me look. Can you get me the Vever discount? See, I'm, got I'm, I'm, got I'm got got China connection there. If you could click the link on my video, I got a video about it. If you click the link, there's a discount code below it. Okay. I'm down here on the uh, coast, and everybody that's into fishing basically has one of those ice machines that kick out every you know, probably 200 pounds a day. Yeah, that's one of the big commercial ones, isn't it? No, like no. no. In a hotel. It's, a, it's a small little residential. <laughs> Oh, it's not, it's not well, big. I had one of those little countertop ones, man. They, no, they, it's those bigger. Ones, they sucked. I just you know, it's a damn bigger one than out the countertop. It's bigger than that, but it, it's about three hundred bucks, I think. Three hundred, something like that. They got all kinds of different sizes, and man, it comes with the filters of... too. Oh, they're like the Walmart of China, man. Yeah, I mean they they make everything, man. There's, there's Gage's submarine pot. There you go. Hey, what y'all think about that shit? I like I it. it. Looks good, man. I like it. I could use it as a gas tank. I think it was meant to be it one. It's made by Firestone, man. Fucking it says gas Firestone. Tank. Stainless steel right there on top of it. Hey, I think we got to put two 110 elements in each end of it so it'll heat up quicker. Hell yeah! Does it have a, a key like a keg or? But what what's each? No, it's. Like? This thing's closed off. This thing's got some kind of weird fucking thing on it. Okay. It needs a ferrule welded on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my pops is gonna weld a ferrule on it, and he's gonna close off whatever the fuck this thing is on the side. Hey, I'm telling you, I'd put a fucking heating element in both ends. I'd put two two inch barrels on both ends, even if you just cap them off and don't use them. Yep. That's what I did. I think it's going to be badass, dude. Like a submarine keg. No, that's cool as fuck. 
I'm going to go get one of them horse heads. Do just like you would on a submarine steel. I just wish I could get that fucking den out of it. Blow it up. When you put yep, your ferals in there, when you put your ferals in there, when you put your ferals in there, drill it out, put a fucking uh, a valve in it for a damn uh, uh, air hose, blow that some bits out of there. Blow that motherfucker out. It's going to take a lot of air. Yeah, it'll take a lot no, of air. Well, let him do it. Now, put a little bit Yeah, of let him fucking do it, he said. Did you, did you get serious. your hand in there with a little pit ball peen hammer? Hey, I, I mean, he's welding that damn ferrule on there already, so I figured I can go get one of them auto body dent pullers. Just go ahead and fuck drill a hole in there, try to pop it out. They're just having pat uh, fill in the hole. It's yours. I just leave the dent. Don't worry about it, man. Try to put Here. it against the wall. Use this Here. as the front. No, no, no. That's where Here. you threw that fucker against that damn X and hit her in the <laughs> fucking head. That's where the hell that dent come from. I would have never threw the K, just so you know. It would have been the other way around. Well, yeah, but, uh, hey, you're talking to us guys. We know how the hell the story goes. Hey, Phil, you know what he could do to run that two 110 elements, though? He could run one straight to the wall and one off that's the what I just, That's I'll, what I just put. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I recommend doing it, or else you're going to blow your fucking breaker. Yeah, gotta be on breakers too. Like, so yeah. get an extension. Cord. They're not like ten amps. They're always like thirteen. And that way you can't yeah. use a twenty to do it. You know. Yeah, yeah. If you're running a fifteen amp house breaker, and somebody turns a toaster on in a house. You're blowing a breaker every fucking time. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna run a dedicated line to the kitchen for my little five gallon. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Thirty amp Don't breaker. Knows all about blowing fucking breakers. <laughs> Buddy, I'm God running damn. one of them hundred foot extension cords for my fucking outside outlet to my house. This motherfucker ain't power nothing damn but a phone charger time. and a chop block. Sound like a bunch of hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> Every That's time my kids put an air, air fryer on, I blow a fucking fuse. <laughs> I like hate literally that damn air fryer, dude. You, do you like food out of the air fryer? Do you like using it? It's all right, but my kids use it all day, every fucking day. So when I'm out in the garage doing something, quote, breaker fucking blowed. I got to run an one. independent line. We got one that's called a Gourmia. And it's a pretty good sized one, but it just leaves a bad aftertaste. And everything I've cooked in it that has that same bad aftertaste. I don't know. I, I ain't got used to it. You're used to the oil. Yeah, yeah, I'm used to the deep fryer. That That's what it is. I got three different fucking little projects going here right now, dude. The damn stand-up fucking keg, the damn viver fucking bullshit, and then the damn submarine steel I'm working on. Well, that'll keep you busy. Why, hell, you want to trade places? You need to get your welder along with that frame. I'm just not catching up, dude. I'm I got one of my stills built. I gotta build another one and I'm hell I'm working on a parrot for some reason. I don't even know why I'm building. Well, my stand up oh, gig's dude. causing me issues, so hopefully a trip out to Tom's house will fix that issue. If not, it's gonna be for sale. Come on. <laughs> well, What's hey, going let me on? This. I've seen you put it up on the page. I almost put a laughing face, but I didn't want to fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. Hey, as far as flow rate goes, is there a difference between going a two-inch column to a four-inch column? You'll get vapor quicker. I mean, it will. Yeah, more I mean of it. well, it depends well, on how big your steel is. Because if if you go with too large of a diameter. You lose a lot of vapor velocity, and you don't really get that much. It doesn't improve it that much. Like a four inch on a keg, you're not. But you know, if you put it on like a forty or you know sixty gallon, yeah, you definitely want to upgrade to like that. But two inch on a keg is plenty. You know. Okay, no, what I'm looking at, Santa, is I'm looking at putting. Uh, I'm going to weld two kegs together, so okay. roughly thir thirty gallons. Thirty. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, could, you could go with a three. I mean, a four is getting pretty expensive, man. That's just if you can afford it, go for it, man. But I don't. I don't think you're going to get a lot of benefit over a three to a four. 
for the money, you know. But, it depends but it, on what Phil Billy can give me for a deal. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm all I'm all about Phil Billy giving me a good deal. I do like the four inch ferals though, because that's something you can get that yarn down into and clean. So four inch yeah. might be the way to go, you know. Well, I've already got a six inch opening and I'll just transfer that over yeah. to the top end of that keg, the dual kegs. Yep. Bill, Bill, what you got for an onion or something like that? Um, well, how much or what, well, what do you? Did you really? He had me some ideas. I'm just looking. I'm searching out right now. Give me some ideas. Someone else might be able to use the ideas as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I got I got eight inch uh, spheres minions. I got. I made a horse head today. Um, whatever I can make them fit any size feral. Right. Any size you need. Just I like that. I like that, Sam, man. Well, okay, when we start talking these different designs, is there a huge difference in flavor? Um, Tom says no. I don't uh, think so. No. They're all about just, the same. I think it might, how you want it to look. Yeah, I think if you go from a two inch to a four inch, is that what you know on a column? Is that what you're kind of talking about? Well, yeah, Tom, but I was also thinking about taking that two inch off there and bumping the straight four inch coming off the damn kegs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hey, and it's easier to clean, and I think it just pushes a more volume. And I don't know how to explain it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think yeah. it has to work as hard to push it through there going from here to here. Yeah, that make yeah. Sense? It, if you're willing to go that far with a keg, then hell yeah, do it, brother. Yeah, it, it's awesome. Um, Especially a, a double keg. I wouldn't do it on a single, but a double, yeah, you got 30 gallons, you can definitely go for it. I don't know. I'm just. It, There's some people that swear by four, but I, I always ran two. Um, I do have a four inch, but I got a reducer usually right. that I go and put because I have. I make so many columns and they're always usually two inch because keg stills, a lot of people don't want to spend the mo extra money to upgrade them. Are you, I mean, are you saying I'm a cheap ass? Well, no, I'm saying that most people are cheap asses. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing about it is most people that are, you know, using a keg still are kind of a budget still. You know, putting a four inch column on there is kind of like lipstick on a pig. You know, it's just a bit. There you up. go. You know, you got. Yeah, if you, you know, can spend the money expense. on the four inch, you can buy yeah. copper steel. Yeah, yeah, get a bigger steel here. Better yeah, but, it, but I feel like the four I inch is the cleaning factor. You know what I mean? Just be able to Say get in there and clean it better. Yeah, yeah. Say it again, I mean, Tom, I like, from the beginning. I like the four inch just because you can get in there and clean it better. Okay. I put Brother, a six in build, but I, then I reduced down to a two inch. It's right. got a six inch opening, but I don't use the six inch. I build four inch columns and they're fucking badass and they're oh, heavy yeah. duty, but the copper on them, it, it gets to be expensive. That copper is that yeah. thick, man. And they're heavy, like shipping it heavier and shit. They got sight glasses on them. There's one on my site. It's a four inch column. I, I think I call it the smokestack. Um, it's a big motherfucker and it's badass. Now is it just straight, and, straight copper or you got the sight glasses and everything in it or? It's got one sight glass and it's straight copper all the way up. Four inch copper and it's old school copper. It ain't fucking uh no this thin walled shit. It's it's heavier than fuck. If you dropped yeah. it on your foot, <laughs> you'd be fucking hurt. Fuck. Yeah. So that's some heavy duty. Now I'm mm, I got a buddy of mine uh we're, you know, we're doing some damn horse trading and he gonna weld me two kegs together. But like I was talking to Tom earlier today about uh, doing up my own 20, 30 gallon type copper still. You know, I mean, I'm kind of tossed. You know what I'm saying? Am I, I gonna, love am I gonna benefit that much from a copper? Or some people think, oh yeah, the coppers. Copper's awesome. definitely the best. 
but it's it's a lot of maintenance at the same time. It, you know, unless you use it all, every day and keep it, you don't have to worry about keeping it clean. You can just keep running it. It's great. But, yeah, you don't have to clean it if you keep it hot. That's right. Keep it running. Mm-hmm. You don't have to worry about it. That's right. I run mine about every three days. For it's when it sits around when it gets green. Year. You know, it turns green. It's sitting around in the garage. Oh, yeah, that's where it gets fucking. But I tell you what, that's what people don't understand about copper. You don't have to clean copper like that. If you run it regular or fill it back full of water, you know, when it's sitting there, you know what I mean? But the right. thing about it is, it, it you got to season it just like you do cast iron. My, yeah, if my, you run it once a week, you ain't never got to clean it. Unless right. you run something nasty through it. Yeah. If you run rye through it. You might want to reach in there and give her a good little scrub and a spray. Well, out when the you problem run. is a lot of people run it and they let their back sit sitting there and then that high acid, you know, eats yeah. the copper a little bit and then they dump it out two days later and all of a sudden they're wondering why it's turning green so quick. Uh, no, you know what's worse than that is when you run a vinegar apple brandy run that you've let set too long, but you're going to run it anyway because you're going to prove a damn point and it still ends up being hot vinegar coming out the other end. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, fuck it, and you go to bed. Then you just decide to sleep in. You get up the next morning and it's got that much green shit growing on top of it. Holy That's a shit. motherfucker to clean, yeah. dude. God, yeah, I, 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 had to I do just that. I like using the stain. I've had copper and run copper a lot in the past, but I like the simplicity of the stainless and just adding the copper to the vapor path. And, and Maybe I'm with and I'm with Santa. I'm a lazy ass motherfucker. Yeah, I'm getting old and, lazy, man. I used to run the copper. You know, I love it. It's definitely the best, but. You know, you ain't no, ain't no, ain't no lie on this damn page on every Friday night. We're a bunch of truthful son of bitches around here. Yeah, I, 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 fucks I, I, don't give a shit. Cheap right. ass motherfuckers trying to make good liquor. That's right. Fuck Jack Daniels. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, you can't this, spell Jack Daniels with uh, without the this, word this shit. Blackberry oh, pineapple is pretty damn good. Hey, Bill, I noticed you didn't put my comment up there on the page like everybody else. I didn't see it. I, don't, what, I, what I, can't, it? Read to them. I can't read it. Where did you put it? What Somebody you put, put Phil is awesome. And I see him do the thumbs up, so I put Phil is gay right under it. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't yeah. even see it, and That's bro. the only I comment that didn't there. show up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, I think I'm just saying you. Phil is gay. Damn, that's bad. Didn't I now I want to see it. Like, it's on the private chat. Phil, didn't uh, I just send you a f- friend request like yesterday or like within the last 48 hours? Did I accept it? Yeah, yeah, I think you did. Dude, I, think I don't so. fucking know. Man, that shit's like <laughs> yeah. Man, I guess so. If many- you send it to Phil, you got to give him at least three to six months to accept it. I know it. I yeah, know what I posted mean. stuff, and he's like, "What? Where did you put?" It? We got our own little click, but then everybody got everybody wants to fucking be a. Oh, I know Tom. I know Phil. I know Gage. I know Santa. You know, yeah. I don't talk to nobody besides you guys. There you go, Gage. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I start out. Every, we all start out the same damn way, not knowing nobody, and then you know you start talking Man, with folks. When I first started, I didn't know anybody, and I didn't know anything about it except what a Foxfire book taught me. And, and I. I, there was no internet, nobody to talk to. It's just ah. trial and error, man. No, oh, no hydrometers, no thermometers. No, I love all the new stuff. I'm not one of them, you know, old, old school. school. No yeah, I'm not one of those, man. I like the, I like the modernization. But Santa, I mean, you started 30 years ago. Come on now, 45, <laughs> 45. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. I, it, Yep, I was pretty young, man. And I ain't gonna lie, none. I started, believe it or not, I started after I had a stroke. I had a fucking stroke, lost all my uh, troubleshooting abilities, blasey blasey. I couldn't even, I, I love to cook, I couldn't even follow a damn recipe. Wow. I couldn't even follow a recipe. Had again. a phase you from it? Say again? Had a phase you from it for yep. a while? 
Yep, and then um, to be honest, I, I slowly started getting into it because I like Moonshine from before. And then um, I got into a little bit more and more and more watching the show. I reached out to um, Henry Law. Him and I chatted for a bit, little bit before his Facebook goddamn uh, uh, they hold it held it hostage or whatever. That's when he was doing a, a more personal side. Now it's all business side. But I started chatting with him and then somehow I got hooked up with Jay up there in well, Pennsylvania. That's, laws. That's, those laws are a good person to talk to. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Well he had to I'll be damned. I mean when I was going through my shit because it, I'm I mean I'm a hell of a lot better now than what I was two years ago. And uh, Henry, I shit you not, even though we was chatting through Facebook and whatnot, that motherfucker was there for me. I mean, helping me out left and right. And then he, he announced he was coming out with a book. And he said, hey, I got one. At, I got one here at my office for you. Just give this phone number a call and they'll send it to you. Well, I was expecting to call the number and get my credit card and all that other good shit, you know. And I don't know who the lady was, but it was their rental company. She um, says, no, Henry wants to send it to you free. And he had he, he got an autograph. He got a that's big old awesome. write-up in it and shit. He sent it to me. But that's what got me started. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I grew up in Pike County, Kentucky, and, you know, that's that's back in cold country, Kentucky, and, you know, moonshine is pretty much a way of life there, and it, it's kind of just like another job. You know, you got electricians, you got plumbers, you got shiners, you know, it's just another job around there, it's just, just another occupation, and, yeah, you know, hell, I, I remember when I was in elementary school, man, we, we'd sit and draw race cars and trucks and moonshine steels, and I was Second, third grade, man. It's there you go. <laughs> hey, Phil, I was going to send something up there with Damon with them bottles, but I forgot to send it, man. Oh, you know hey. what this is? I, I did. your uh, white trash mash. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. That's I was going to send this up there, dude. It's got the old timey fucking wood press and everything. That's a butt man. plug, ain't it? That's a butt plug <laughs> right there, son. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Uh, That's hey, a big old fruit what, strainer. You want to run some fruit? That right hey, there. You, that will run yeah. some serious fruit. If you want to. Did y'all see that bucket rig I posted? That, that bucket press. That bitch come in a heartbeat. If you would have yeah, sent that with Damon, it, it would have got one. here smelled like shit. Well, I, I'm going I'm to make one with a keg. I'm going to go ahead and give up my little secret. I know Phil Billy's going to do it. Make one with a keg because that bucket, I don't see how the hell that thing didn't split open. But doing the same thing with a keg and a scissor jack, that'd be a, that'd be a way to go, man. That'd be something else we can do with kegs. Run it with a drill. Yeah. Or, yeah, run your scissor jack with a drill. Absolutely. But make a good fruit press out of it. That's Go buy work. you one of these ten gallon livers and use it. Yeah, that'd work too. Yeah, I, I, got I need about a five. Buddy, Where's Mr. I got a outside an orchard and he rigged up his uh, log split. What's going on, Mark? How you doing? Hey guys, yeah, but there's baby chunk. Wait, go play. <laughs> hey, little man. What? What'd you think about that white trash, Phil? It was good, man. I liked it. I liked you know, I gave that up. I, I gave it to I got let Jerry Benson have some up there at Maggie Valley. He liked it. So did old uh, Solomon. He liked it too. Hell yeah. Hey, Solomon will drink shit out of the flock. Solomon <laughs> cracks me up, man. His laugh kills me. I know. Every time he laughs, I fucking laugh with him. I do too. Man. We can ask, yeah, we can yeah, ask Damon, though. We were standing out in the parking lot, and I hollered out real loud. I said, There ain't but two laughs you can figure out across the whole room. And I said, Solomon Sutton and fucking Donnie Benton. You can hear them two laugh across the whole room, dude. It's the funniest thing. 
It is. Hey, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, you know in that book that damn Henry's got, you know, what you was talking about? Uh-huh. But if you go back in there and look, you'll get to see my family in that book. Who that now talking? John or uh, Tom? Yeah, huh? yeah. You, your family mentioned in that book about yeah. what chapter? Uh, whenever Amos uh, jumped out the back window of that old boarding house. Okay. Yeah, it was my family members, and it's latterly named in there the Crumb family. And we was running lot, we was running liquor with him. One of my family members got busted with Amos when he jumped out the back window. Amos Amos, Holy son. shit! Okay, yeah. I, I, it, I'll be honest, Tom. I, it was every bit of two years ago that I read. I was started reading it and everything. Oh yeah, it's all good. That's one of the most fascinating books. You know why he had to wait so long for his daddy to die to write that book, right? No, because he could still got charged with some of it. Oh, holy That's shit! Limitations, right? For yeah, that. yeah. I there, did not know that. that they could have got him for conspiracy. You know, they always try to get all that shit oh, on there. Yeah, right. So they wait. He had to wait for his daddy Seven to years. die and some other people to die. Seven years. Damn. No, I can't wait. I've got. That's why I can a, talk about some of the shit I did when I was younger. Because that's more than seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, because of what Henry done for me, I've got a buffalo skull sitting here. I've already shared pictures with it to a few few of you folks, but I got a buffalo skull here. I got from uh, South Dakota that has got Henry's name written all over it. Now oh, yeah. I need to get on up there to Franklin. To give it to him, but I got his damn name all over it. That's awesome. Yeah, because I appreciate it. he he when I was going through my shit, because I ain't gonna lie no, when I come out of that damn stroke, I went in some fucking tipsy oh, yeah, yeah. fucking days. And it was reading that damn yeah. book of Henry's and then chatting with him on Facebook, it helped me through a lot of this shit. And then the next one is a man his boyfriend, Jay. He's the other one that helped me out big time through this shit. I mean, I ain't got to lie to you. Them motherfuckers helped me out big time to get me oh, where yeah. I'm at right now. Yeah, that's why I like helping a lot of people out in all the groups. I'm a moderator and admin in it. I get a lot of gratification out of you know, mentoring a lot of people and seeing them make their first shine and you know getting their reactions. Yeah, pretty rewarding. How much do you want to do it? No, I'm coming. Okay. Yeah, no, no shit. When uh, I mean, I I like baking, I like cooking and shit like that, but I couldn't even follow a fucking recipe. I couldn't follow a recipe. I'm looking at that motherfucker, and if I didn't have the ingredients in in front of me, and then in turn, as I use an ingredient. I'd put it off to the left-hand side. That way I knew I used it, and I wouldn't have to confuse what I still have to put in the pot. Damn. You know, that's, that's how bad it was. You know, it was it was crazy. But, yeah, um, a man was boy. That's kind of like how dementia is, you know, very similar to that. When you exactly. Start My mama, and that's the fun, I shouldn't say funny thing. You got to put a military twist on this shit, okay? Me and JJ from the show were talking. The I, I please put a military twist on it. You got to put a military twist on this shit. Me and JJ were talking the morning that my mom passed away. I was getting ready to do some banana brandy, and I was calling JJ up for some help. And I got the word that my mom passed away. So here I am talking to JJ, and he helped me through the morning, whatever. You know, us military guys, we click. And out of the blue, I come up with this Carolina Genevieve. Caroline's Genevieve, and that's what I'm calling my liquor that I'm coming up with right now. I remember seeing the poster. You talked about that. My mom was a Caroline, too, Carolyn. Yeah, she passed away about a year and a month ago. Yeah, it's tough. Yep, and so I'm, I'm going to call my my uh, and what mine is is a rice and rye, okay, aged with pecans. Now, is this? Did you use the yellow label yeast on that? 
<laughs> no, I made my own yeast. I took hey guys, real quick, I'm bouncing off here, man. Y'all have a good night. See okay, you guys. Gage. You got you have a good one, buddy. Later, Gage. You too. No, I, I grew my own yeast. I um literally went from uh straight rye and I got the yeast going. Then I added some rice to it, got it going, and then I started adding sugar to it. And then I got my own. So once I went to go through to a, a, a about a 15 gallon uh mix, I had oh god, I've never Probably filled with rice. I had overkill, but I had like a gallon right at a gallon of a mix of uh homemade uh uh, uh yeast to put into it. But that's I mean and, and I got a lot of that from um um god damn it the ghost yeah. hunter what the hell's his name now South Florida no 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 he up there in Ohio area um oh, I was thinking of ghost rider that's right he does a lot of ghost shit. Super uh, oh, supernatural shit. About Alan Bishop? Yes. Yeah. That's Indiana. He's in Indiana. Indiana. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. I got a lot of a lot of info from him. Actually, yeah, it was true. He's a wealth me, of knowledge, man. Me talking to Jay. Jay in turn got me talking to Amanda. And then they in turn got me talking to Bishop. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he knows he's he's my go to man for info. <laughs> Yeah, he's a fucking. I only wish I could fucking read and comprehend, like what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? You're right. I know a lot about shine and stuff, but I don't know a lot about like worldly liquors and what they make in Zimbabwe. And <laughs> you know, Alan knows, man. He knows liquors from all over the freaking world. The processes. And, you know, it, it's much much deeper than I can go. And I have no idea about all these different. Drinks they make in Italy and France and you know all these countries and you know he's he's pretty knowledgeable about a, you know a broad range of stuff you know. Well, that's where I was at with this. I mean, it wasn't yeah, rice right. is something I've never fooled with. You know. This season when when uh, Tim Smith come out with that Genevieve shit, whatever. He he come across with Genevieve. I didn't realize that there was a liquor by the name of Genevieve. You know, I came out with my mom's name. Well, hell, there's a liquor after it. So now to be a quote Genevieve, I guess I gotta add some ju uh Jupiter berries to it to make it a Genevieve, I guess. Those bubbles didn't stick around long, did they? No, they didn't. Yeah, they didn't. <laughs> I noticed that too. It's like, see, no, now you see them, now you don't kind of thing. Yep, yeah, do it again. Come on, Sandman, do it again. That's the first, that's the first clear jar. It's clean, finally. It's pretty. That's, you're not going to take a drink of that 180, are you? No, sir. Yeah, he is. I hey, come say, on. Man. This hey, one's hurting. You want a beard like like Sandman? Come on. Me. You want a beard like us too? Drink that shit. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, buddy. It's hot. Hey, go it's shake. Hot. You got two. You got two little fucking hairs that come off that chin right there. Yeah, yeah, I seen them. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna have to put some more liquor in it. It ain't fun. Yeah, you're gonna have a beard tomorrow, boy. Yeah, he is. <laughs> you'll have, you'll have you hair growing out his nose, liquor. man. <laughs> growing out his nose. That's what about his fucking ears? Hard. Phil, no, I slowed it down. It's fucking hotter than it was. Check that out. 190 on the button. Man. Damn. I Damn. slowed it down. 190. That means it's working, brother. No wonder it fucking hurt. That was... Ooh, I ain't drinking no more of that. Man, that'll parch your throat, man. man. That ain't good on your throat. <laughs> another, drink, another drink. Another drink and give you another hair. <laughs> Come on, I don't man. Need a fucking hair that yeah, bad. I can't. I can't do that, <laughs> that pure grain or that one ninety, man. It it kills God, my man. throat to drink it. That'll put some spade in your lancel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, it says right there. That'll put some lead. Bad thing is my fucking drink's gone. 
How old are you? <laughs> no, no you chaser. You in trouble, man. Right. All the way down. Now it's coming back. Sam, man. Don't need no chaser. How old what are was you? That? 33. 33. Yes, sir. Wet behind the fucking ears, son. Man, yeah. I'm making 190 fruit, so I got hey, something. Drink, drink some more of that 190. You get a beard like Santa and I. Yeah. In time. I don't want a fucking beard that bad, dude. That shit's rough. <laughs> oh, I'll man. see you something. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, man. Nah. Every woman likes a little <laughs> bit of hair yeah, on Yeah, they chest. love it, beard, man. <laughs> I'm going to make a fucking drink. I'll be back. <laughs> He's going to go throw up. <laughs> He's crawling in the bedroom. Oh, God. Have y'all seen that video? That dude Bruh. Drinks that pint of shine, and he said, Red Bull give you wings, and it moon's trying to make you crawl, and he's down on the ground crawling away from the steel. That's funny as shit. Moon's trying to turn you into four wheel drive. Yeah. Y- y'all know who likes y'all know who likes the beards? Who that? The sisters, man. The sisters. Oh, yeah. Every time I go into a bar, every time I go to a bar and there's some sisters, they say some shit. We about all beard. I like that beard, boy. I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah, we we was like in Wendy's or something the other day, and that girl leaned out there and she's like, Oh, I like your beard. And by the time she got that out, she seen Ginger pop that fucking head around the corner <laughs> in the pressure <laughs> seat. She's like and you so pretty too. <laughs> I get that in a grocery store a lot. Yup. And wow. I like it. She she gets pretty jelly pretty quick, man. Oh yeah. My old lady wants me to cut the shit. But I get She's dudes like, coming up to me, man. I, I get a lot of guys coming up to me saying the same shit. I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. I ain't gonna lie now. <laughs> God damn. Get your new boyfriend. <laughs> first time. Yeah, first time. yeah I don't get quite as jealous when the guy says something. But, yeah, you know, man, me being a Marine, I know, it's weird though, right? She's jealous. Like, exactly. yeah. Me being a Marine and around a Marine uh, uh, bases, I got Camp Lejeune and Cherry Point right here. I was going on uh, Camp Lejeune and some fucking the Marine MP military police commented like he's got the hot for me or something on my beard. You know, it's like I ain't never had a man fucking compliment me on my beard. It's like oh, I've had oh, are you weird. You know I, this one dude was it's just at a gas station man. He's a brother and he's like man I like that beard and laughing and shit and I'm like I, I guess he's straight he seems straighten up and up. I don't know. But I, I get it a lot. I I told this MP, the military police, to fuck off. I said, fuck I off, man. Think, I ain't got yeah, time for you shit. I man. didn't. That was my first reaction. That was the first time I ever come across a guy <laughs> giving me a compliment on my beard. This black dude, I think he had three hairs growing out of his chin, like yeah, like Sam in there, and. and uh, he, he always wanted the beard, I guess. And he's like, man, I wish I could grow one like it. That's a nice beard. Sam, man, you got one. Sam, man, seriously, oh, you got one hair sticking out that chin? He's, look at that, man. You that, got that, a few. That, you that got a few there, there. man. Yeah. You, you look like, like my son. My son got a few, too, if you let it grow. Must be a good looking motherfucker, is all I can yes, say. Yes, he is. Dude, that, <laughs> that little fucker can pitch it, pick up some girls now. I tell you. <laughs> yes, he can. Man, I, I can't what... believe UK lost to Texas AM tonight. Hang Damn. on, I got to stop. Who, who, what, it, who's down there in Texas? <laughs> oh, I, I say. UK lost to Texas A&M today. Oh, tonight. okay, okay. It's a tournament going on right now. I ain't, I ain't watching no basketball right now. I need to. I need to. Damn, that shit's buttered me up, man. <laughs> I switched over to some heaven, man. That shit Actually, tastes my good, son, damn it. My son's stationed down there in Houston. But yeah, I need to, I need to watch some of that shit. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a big oh, shit. I, get me that bottle of uh, <laughs> that cherry, Owen Williams. Drop something. It's a, what is it? <laughs> cherry Evan Williams. Did you just say Cherry Evan Williams? Yeah, it's fucking good, dude. Damn, not, Torres, are you what? serious? When, I didn't even know they had that. What'd you do? Put <laughs> Evan Williams and Cherry. Okay. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Cherry. What, what is it? Get it. It's, Toby, Toby bought it for me. It's fucking good. Where is it going? I've never happy. seen it. Hey, y'all. I'm I gotta let you go for a lady second. Gonna I gotta go get me a drink. <laughs> I want to see it. I'm Googling that shit. You out of here, Jim? No, 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 no. I got oh, okay. go oh, That's what right I did right earlier. Right there. You might All see right, me next, but I got to get one. <laughs> get that hatch oh, in your giddy up, girl, old man. I'll be damned. Evan Williams Cherry. Oh, it's I've good. Never, I'm going to have to get it for is you. It? I'm going to have to get some. I've never seen it for you. See, that's what I'm drinking right now. <laughs> hey, I'm drinking uh, an old-fashioned, you know, because that's what I like. Can you imagine drinking an old-fashioned with cherry? That would be fucking phenomenal. Dude, this is fucking good. I got to find that's that. that. Dude. I've not seen it. I, I bought that bottle there just a couple of weeks ago. I ain't you seen see it. it. Santa, right there. Damn, oh, I, I can't out. see it. It's dark as hell in there, Phil. Really? Yeah, it's dark. <laughs> Put your glasses on. Yo, bastard. Oh, I sit now. Yeah. Yeah, I sit. Oh, I, I was looking at YouTube. That's about five minute delay. Let me see. God damn it, sitting right in front of you. You can't oh. see it. No, I can now. I, I was I was watching on uh, YouTube, and it's got it's got like a minute delay on there. On YouTube, she just brought the bottle in. <laughs> no, this is good shit, man. Yeah, I like I've got, it. I've definitely got to try. It. Toby like bought Evan me that Williams. bottle. Evan Williams. He came in town. He. That's the best. He's like, you got to try this. Value in, it's not a black is. label though. It's a clear label oh, though, ain't it, Phil? Say hi. Yeah, yeah, it's clear. Okay, Is okay. One hundred. Okay. I was just making yeah. sure because it looks different than mine. Okay, no, I got you. Only, you're showing right. it to the background. With the background, it's it's like the What's the proof on it? It's only sixty-five proof. Oh, okay, sixty-five. But it tastes like maraschino cherries, dude. It's so fucking good. I'm getting dude, it's You made old fashioned with this. Yeah. It'd be awful. Fourteen dollars. It's, Fuck, it's, it's worth using as a mixer on an old fashioned. God, that sounds delicious. And I hate store bought liquor. I can I'm drink telling it. you, I love Evan Williams, man. I drink the shit out of it. That hundred proof bottled in bond. That's best value in, in bourbon on the shelf. Right there. I mean, that's just Evan Williams and Coke. I drink the bottle in bond with Coke. Yeah, right there, brother. That's where it's at, man. I just call it's it best call value. Them. I've drank, I mean, I've got, I've got. You know, eighty, ninety dollar bottles back here. You know, Put that back up. Craig, you know, twelve year old, whatever. You can't can't beat it, nope. Williams. Man. <laughs> that a lot to Craig. Uh, barrel proof is pretty good stuff, though. You know what? I like, if I want to get if I want to yeah. get something from the liquor store, I buy the cheapest motherfucking bottle I can get. I got my white oak out back. Yeah. I'll char that motherfucker up and let it sit for another two or three weeks. And I don't, I'm not patient enough for that. I drink too much. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm with you, Tim. Man, I'm with you. I'm. I mean, seriously, I'm with you. But it, you know, push come to shove, I'll put it on there. I I've got my um, not cubes, uh, sticks of a white oak one by one. I char up. I'll put it on the grill first to get it heated up good. That's good stuff. And bake it, and then I'll char it, okay? And then I'll, I'll take that fucking cheap-ass fucking whiskey, $15 a bottle shit, and I'll let it soak in there for as long, you know, two weeks or a week, whatever, and it makes a fucking huge difference. i tell you what, this time next year, I'll have two, either 30 or 50-gallon barrels full. I'll have brandy in one and whiskey in the other, and that's I'll never buy another fucking drop. 
I drink it too damn fast, old man. Well, I mean, it take a while to drink a thirty gallon or fifty gallon barrel. That's yeah. It take a while to age it, dude. Yeah. I mean, I ain't gonna. I shouldn't be drinking as much as I do, just like all of us. But like, God yeah. damn, last night I went through. I started drinking. I didn't realize it, but I went through not quite a quart, damn near a quart of. Um, I guess it was 90 proof, 80 proof, 90 proof, somewhere in there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sounds like a Thursday. What do you mean? Sounds like a what? Thursday. Sounds like a Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, this, is, uh, yeah. this is jar number seven, 130, blackberry and pine. The, the fucked up part with me, though, is I've noticed after this stroke, I black out real quick. You I'll black the fuck out and I'll keep on drinking. I'll keep there. There have been nights I have talked to you guys and black the fuck out. I tell you what, I'm I'm getting old and kind of opposite. You know, I, I'll sit and drink and I don't do that, but I just sit around not drinking just after I eat or watching TV and it's like I'm narcoleptic, man. I can't I can't keep my head up. I take a couple of drinks, man. I'm ready to go. I have I have found times I've chatted with Tom, I've chatted with Damon, and I've been blacked out. I don't remember until the next day that I've talked to you guys at all. Well, yeah, I'm that's cool because you're yeah. not worth remembering either. <laughs> I said that's cool because you're not worth remembering either. Then oh, asshole. <laughs> well, that's the thing about it. once we get start getting old and oh, I know mention shit and forgetting stuff. We tell the same <laughs> stories over and over again. And, and and one of the best things about it, man, I can watch reruns and I've never. It's like I never saw it the first time. There you go. Yep. <laughs> Hey, Sam, how old are you now? 60. You're 60? I'm five years behind you. Tom, um, where are you at? 51. 51. You're more behind me. So, yeah. You're right. We're, we're at that. Tom, I'm the hot dog. Mark, Mark's 109. He's got like 19 grandkids and shit. Yeah, he's, he's 63. Oh, you, Mark. I'm 61. Okay. 61. Well, see, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm judging off the gray hair. I'm judging off the gray hair. Well, you don't have any. I, exactly. I think I see one there. Man. It's like me getting sideways to see the hair. See, see if, you're bald, if, you, if you're bald in the front, you're a thinker. If you're bald in the back, you're a lover. If you're bald, bald like Mark Morgan, you just think you're a fucking lover. <laughs> well, so I'm bald as a motherfucker up front, so what's that tell you? Yeah, I don't have you're much on thinker. top. I'm a thinker? Yeah. I, I keep, think, so, hey, I keep see, thinking I got a snake, but it's a fucking worm. I know that, but I keep thinking a snake. Y'all are okay. y'all are getting shit about my beard. You ain't got no fucking hair on your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah I know. Well, I go Who does not know no fucking kids in this conversation of adults? <laughs> yeah, y'all shut up and let the grown men talk for a minute. Oh shit. <laughs> fucking kids. You're silent all night. Can't have shit in this world for kids or dogs. Now shut up. Both of you lay down on the floor and hush. You all got me drinking one night. And this is what you get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, I remember back home, growing up in the Midwest, we would go over to Grandma and Grandpa's house. Us kids had to go downstairs. We we had to go downstairs. We wasn't seen until it was dinner time, and then we'd come up the steps, given a plank. We had to go back downstairs and eat the shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always seen, not heard. <laughs> That's like exactly. we were children back then. We're That's seen, how not heard. I, I don't give a damn. I mean, I go back 20 years and then kids just need to be in the basement. Dude, my dad used to say the best thing you want for your kids is to learn how to walk and talk. And for the rest of their life, you tell them to sit down and shut up. <laughs> hey, I'll be right back.
sit down and shut up. I mean, that's the truth, though. I always no, wanted to make sure my kids could walk and talk, and then they got aggravated. Now they need to sit down and shut up. Hell, I tell them that, and they're fucking 26 years old. <laughs> Damn, I, I didn't mean all y'all now. Just shit. I didn't know I had that much authority. Somebody else <laughs> that. I'm afraid to say something now. <laughs> let's talk I'll about let, Jim let, while he's I'll gone. Let the grown ups talk. Yeah. yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about Jim while he's gone. He can't hear us. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. That's good. Though, baby. Thanks to this baby taking you. It's coming. Back. That's good. So what's everybody got going on this week? I'm gonna head down to uh, South Florida, Okeechobee, to hook up with Alfredo at a festival. Nice. Like sure, sure King Festival. Sugar sure King. King. Oh, yeah. Dude, I yeah, want man. a sugar cane press so fucking bad. I can't hardly stand it, Mark. Man, my oh. cousin's used Another three thousand dollars. Well, they I had a big cast iron one that a mule would, would yeah. walk around in a circle and press yeah. it. Man, big huge. I mean, it must weigh two tons. It's massive. Hey, I but cane and I, I ginger. Track. Ginger's uncle's got one of those, and it they had it running off an old hit and miss engine, you know. And man, I I want that thing, but I mean, if you try to replace them things, them things you can't you can't replace you any can't part get on ones it. like that anymore. I no, mean, that big huge but cast now, iron ones. They got some modern ones, but they're like five thousand dollars, man. They're now I did expensive. I did find one that was like five hundred dollars. One of them electric jobs, like you see, like on like them little Vietnamese kids over there or somewhere, you know, makes that sugar cane juice on these videos. You know, yeah, yeah. I seen one, and man, this one guy had uh, it was like two of them was new, and they were like seven hundred dollars. He had a used one for like three fifty or something, and he said. It only run like you know two hours or something. Man, I'd give anything to have that thing, dude. Man, I remember I walking to behind fucking, that pole. And, and I wanted to run like a mule stalls. parking that damn thing, man. They didn't have a mule. We we walked it, you know. Right. I wanted to run corn stalks. Uh, hey, there's a there's this there's this place by me called Carriage Hill Farms, and uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anyways, sit down. <laughs> Shut up. It's, uh, it's they got one of these old steam engines, and they got where they got them. They'll have a mule going around, and they just do sugar cane like that for the kids. It's like an old timey place, kind of like Amish, but not Amish. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to ask them, like, man, what what are you give me some sugar cane juice? You know what I mean, or do some corn. No, I haven't we tried it to go yet. there. Just I'll try like that. Maple sap. I'm going to try yeah. that uh, Monday, Mark. <laughs> what? Hey, Mark I'm, Morgan. I mixed that. The other Mark oh. Morgan who comment is asking if I'd run this add on that I got this uh, flavor stuff wrong. That's right. That's right. Let's see it now. I mixed that Evan Williams cherry with that salsa rock, Ryan. It's not bad together, man. I could use an ice cube and make it a little better, probably because it's got you know a little flavor in it. Well, so the good? best thing is that I the way they the pronounce that up in Ohio, Sazerac. To me, it's Sazerac. Sazerac. <laughs> that's, so, that's how I say it, Sazerac. He really says <laughs> No, the best thing I found in Gatlinburg was uh, something Junction. Oh, well, I got a sticker. Junction Thirty Five Black Cherry Whiskey. Shit was. Oh, it was super sweet, but man, was it good. So I'm going to try that at the Williams Cherry. That sounds about the same. I'm going to try that. Because yeah, I paid a hell of a lot more than that. Yeah, I'll have one next week. Phil, what would you say that cost? $15? Yeah, yeah it's $20 a bottle. God damn. <laughs> i have to get me one of those. Try it out. Yeah, where are they? Oh, where, where are they at, Mama B and Jason? Right? Where are they at? Too? She ain't feeling good. Oh, she doesn't feel good. Well, I hope you get feeling better. I was sick last Friday, so I didn't get on. I felt like hell. Yeah, you sick too, but must be something going around. You ain't drinking enough, man. You drink that one ninety, you won't get sick, man. That shit'll kill everything. 
I had to kill my fucking throat. Is what it did. Damn, my throat hurts now. I'd say you got parched, man. You, if you're in the I immune am. system in your throat, you're gonna be real susceptible to getting catching the bug, man. I ain't drinking no more of it. Not like that. I tell you what, this one thirty's got me buttered, man. I'm. I ain't drank much of that. I can sure feel it. <laughs> and it's good tasting, though. I like it. Hell, I also drank about three quarters of a fifth of um, bottled and bond already. So, you know. Yeah. Hey, Phil, what about if you damn done that? Um, what's that fucking uh, black <laughs> currant liquor you had? The um, crap. Got the All damn that, dragon uh, gargoyle on it. What's the damn. Von Payne? Yeah, yeah. Get some of the Von Payne to black currant and mix it with the black cherry from Evan Williams. Hell yeah, I'll try that out. Yeah. That be good shit. Phil, try anything. I want, I want I some of Von Payne. Yeah. <laughs> I tried some 200 proof at Phil's house, so I mean, I ain't scared of the proof, I guess. That shit was bad. I don't know. Phil, have you tried Mad Dog 2020? You, you, you ain't Gotten that bad at him. <laughs> he ain't scraping yeah, the bottom of the barrel. Breaking guy's house and fight him. <laughs> <laughs> it tasted uh, better. There's, than there's Damon. There he, he, must be on, he must be on lunch break right now. <laughs> yeah, we missed you, buddy. We <laughs> should be on here. We was talking about you earlier. I'm glad you was working. Yeah. <laughs> Gage, Gage had a butt plug and made us think of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It had it had hair around the bottom of it, man. <laughs> I've been scarred for life with all them damn butt pics, man. That's, that's that give a man with a photographic memory <laughs> nightmares on it. Right. I mean, I oh, forgot yeah. about it. You brought it up again. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, it's imprinted, it's imprinted, man. I, I'm, I'm scarred for life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like call Melbourne fucking Mills. I'm gonna sue somebody, man. I'm <laughs> it scarred me for fucking life. Don't lie, it wasn't that deep of a scar. You've seen plenty of buttholes in your day. Not hairy ones. Oh, hey. <laughs> Them's the ones you remember. Yeah, it's hard to forget. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we need Gage back on here. See if he can find that piece of copper he keeps dropping in the floor. <laughs> I'll pass. Yeah, I know. Found it. Yeah, you can work with Whatever copper, man. You got to have a you flare here. Tool. Got to have a flaring tool. With compression. I, I'm telling you, I need to break a break and fuel line flaring tool. It's got like five different sizes yes. on it. I've had it. Yeah. I don't even know where the fuck I got it. I've had it. Yeah. Forever. It'll work. It just goes on a drill. Mine. Yeah. Shit out. And you can buy a three pack of them at what? At Harbor Freight for like $9. Yeah, mine's hand cranked. I don't have a fancy drill in them. Mine's just hand, hand tight. No, we're talking about them uh, step bits, ain't you, Phil? Oh. Yeah, it's just a little black bit, and you put it in a drill, and you just go, Bang, and it flares the some bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, I, I use. Not, I don't have anything like that. Hell, I'm probably I have the little press that you have to, it's two parts, and you have to clamp it on there and get it good and tight, and then you clamp, <laughs> screw down the compression fitting on the... It's, that's got, kind a, it's got, got, a little, got a little brass taper on it. Yeah, little I can't, holes. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to grab mine. It's I have the same thing as you. You got to turn it by hand, but yeah, it works. I think, I, I think I'll just I've make me one at the lines. shop. Hell, I make me and Phil both one at the shop. Hell, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and sell them then? Good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's the beauty of working in a machine shop. Hell, you can make anything you want. Hell yeah. You know, I got to make a, a program. Uh, for this goddamn, I got this little CNC machine. And I got to get my buddy over here to help me write a program for it. Because I'm coming out with a dual. You know how they got a 220 box for SCR? I'm going to come out with a dual one now 
you know, because everybody else has got one. I, I figure I better. What, a two twenty and a and a one ten and both combo and the box. No, or just two two twenties. Two two twenties. Have you ever thought about putting one ten and two twenty on the same box? Yeah, yeah. Um, Toxic Water used to do that shit. He'd have a one ten and a two twenty on the that same way, box. A lot of people like using that two twenty to get it hot and use that one ten just to keep it going. Once keep it hot. going, yeah. Keep it going. Yeah. I'm gonna put a one ten outlet on my controller, but that's just around my water pump. There, that little man is right there. Yeah. He's the team of the show right there. Hey. No, don't don't give him a kiss goodnight. Come on, keep him going. Come on, Phil. <laughs> He's going to bed. Yeah. He's ready to go to bed. It's that time. I got it. Well, my daughter went to bed an hour ago. <laughs> Us grandparents understand that one right there now. We got to give him a kiss goodnight. Yeah. Damn, grandbaby's over slamming one of the doors the other night, and damn, uh, Ginger said, if you don't quit, that, I'm going to put his ass in bed. I said, if I come over and slam that fucking door two or three times, and you put me to bed? Fuck, I'll go. You ain't got to me. I'll just go. She didn't say take you to bed. She said put you to bed now. Put you to yeah. bed. So no, she <laughs> would knock your ass out and take you to I'm bed. I'm good either way. <laughs> I'm good either way. You know, I, we suckers. Once we, we get to that grand grandfather stage, we get all soft and shit. Don't we? We're suckers for them babies. I yeah. swear to God. Ain't nothing that'll soften up a hard ass with like a grand baby. <laughs> yup. Yup. Like I, I said, if I'd have known Nate was this much fun, I'd have had them first. Hey. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Yup. Damn. Hey. My water fountain's only up to 77 degrees, and I'm on my fourth court. That's kicking that's ass. Awesome. Good, man. Yeah, that's I was awesome. going to ask you about that, how it's running. It's, like I said, I'm at 77 degrees. Yeah, that's on, better uh, than ever, ain't it? I don't know. I now, that's a Billy's I mean, commercial. My commercial. Cold. It's got a lot of room to cool down on the way to the fucking to the condenser so hey get 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 a better picture of that again so you got the column going up and then what is the half inch coming on down yeah Three inch? half oh you're in a propane I thought she's electric what are you running uh, this chilling yeah a uh, fucking water fountain. Oh my god! All right, that's a commercial water fountain. Oh, it's so it's got a uh, what did it say? A third horsepower chiller motor in it. So I mean, it's nice. It, it also, I got that for thirty dollars. I see it come out of school or something or office building or. I don't know. Yeah. So I got, you want a fifty, uh, but I'm. I'm a bunch of guys coming guy. in at the plant fucking Monday and ain't gonna have no water found. West done went and robbed there. <laughs> <that water. laughs> You're gonna have like nine of them some bitches daisy chain down the wall of his garage. Now, hey man, as long as I don't have to use ice anymore, I don't whatever it takes. See, man, you can post it on that, right? You posted like two days ago on that, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I got. And I was working on it earlier this yeah, week. Clint. I remember those days too, man. That tickle pink, them girls loved that, didn't they? <laughs> I drank some boons for them. Boons Farm, you just oh, take yeah. a cap off and toss them. Oh, yeah. Some of grew up on Boons Farm. <laughs> we call that tickle pink panty slippers. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> if you ain't never got drunk on Boons Farm and 7 Up, shit. Thunderbird, <laughs> Moonshine, <laughs> or Mad Dog. Eight Thunder star, Bird. all that shit. I'm drinking all. Cisco, Cisco. I ain't drinking none of them. Way before they call them white people. I've drank all that shit. Everyone y'all just named. I've drank it all. Marcus? Hey, Marcus. I can remember drinking some damn Cisco out of Southern California going on up to uh, San Francisco. For a fucking uh, 
we were going to do damn uh, mob control or whatever for Guns and Roses and uh, um, what the fuck, um, Mick Jagger. What year was that? 80. God, 88? 89, maybe? I was out there in 83 for the Us Festival. You ever heard about that? The Us? Us Festival, the U.S. Festival. Us Festival. No, where was that at? It was in uh, San Bernardino. Okay. Glen Helens Regional Park. It was huge, man. It was the largest outdoor concert ever. I didn't Still get holds the record. I didn't get to Southern Cal until permanently until '87. Man, it was it was awesome. Man, we camped out. I went all four days of it. Yeah, that was I'll a bet. hell of a fucking show, man. I'll bet. See, Judas I'll Priest bet. came out there, lead singer on a Harley. Oh yeah, that son of bitch wide open till it blew. Kicked that son of a bitch open and they just started jamming. Started man. Everybody, going. Went, everybody went fucking crazy, man. It was uh, awesome. good times. Yeah, man. Back when rock and roll was legitimately rock and roll. Yeah. Van Halen comes in on a helicopter, a big Van Halen sign on the side of the chopper, and they just land right behind the stage. You know, Dude, shit was about to cut. Happen I there. remember stories of Van Halen before they were big. And oh, touring yeah. Minnesota, Iowa. Yeah, they yeah, were, was, they were out touring these. I saw Molly Hatchet in the regular bar before they got Molly Hatchet's another one. Yeah, yep. yeah, me too. Yep, Molly Hatchet. <laughs> um, um, Van I'll Hayden, tell you what, um, I was. Go ahead. I was about, I was about eight years old, and I was playing air guitar, listening to the record. Flirt with the down. Down. Okay. You sure it was a record or was an H track or a cassette? Well, it was a it was a jump. It was a it was a record. It was uh, Van Halen's jump. I listened oh. to that on fucking. That was I had a, a, now, I had a Hulk Hogan. Playing the tennis, were you playing the tennis racket or the golf club? Uh, <laughs> no, I had a Hulk Hogan. I had a Hulk Hogan weight bench, and oh. I'd take the bar off. Take the weights off the bar and use the bars and fuck get car well, jump on my just, bed. I was eight. Just went for the tennis racket. In 1988, I was eight cassette. years old. He was listening to a cassette. No, I had record player. No, Are we was sure? four, bro. I had a record player. Was a 45. Yeah, I had my parents for fucking the big oh. records. Which one? LP. I, on, I go to the library and rent. I rent the jump. At Van Halen well, jump. 38. I'd rent the records. The big record, not the little one. The big one. We got forty-three. We got sixty-six. We got the big I don't know the damn difference. So was a, the big record. Yeah, that was the thirty-three. I would yeah. rent them from the library. I would rent them from the library. You could rent records from the library back yeah, then. I think when those first came out, they and were called LPs with, for long LPs, play. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I've got I've got an original Edison disc player <laughs> from like the early 1900s. It was actually late 1800s, maybe. It was actually before they had the platters. It was a round cylinder, and it, you know that you've seen the dog with the big horn, RCA Victrola horn. Well, this was a Victrola before before there was platters. They were actually made in a round disc. Now it's hey, pretty, it's pretty wild. Someone posted photograph. David Lee Roth was not as good as what the band was. No. Uh, that is well, the and, 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 that I, actually I like Hager Halen was better. That's what I was gonna say. Do you like Van Halen or Van Hager? You know Van what I mean? I mean I like I like I like them both. Van Halen, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I like them I both. like fucking I, David Lee Roth. Fucking David Lee Roth was a showman, dude. Show, man, you know? Yes. David Lee Roth. Was I like showman. him when he's high on cocaine, which is there you go. always. Yeah. <laughs> but the day, man. Hagar, I was, think, was a better singer. Yeah, he was well, a better player. player. He, he could or player. Play. Yeah. yeah. He I was mean, a better all in all out band member. David Lee Roth yes. was out for himself. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, I mean, I you can't, you can't knock. The original Van Halen. I mean, uh, Roth was a showman. Was he was shit. definitely out there, kind of like Metallica, you know. 
yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I liked uh, I, I liked that that whole album was awesome. I was eight years old, 1988, playing air guitar, listening to the whole jump. I'd listen to that album front to back. I had I also had a Metallica album that I rented from the library. I think it was Injustice for All or whatever in the fuck. Yeah. And the one with the, they had one song one. I had a, a Sammy Hagar album and I didn't like that as much. And it was it wasn't Van Halen. It was just Sammy Hagar. Yeah, yeah, and I never I returned those albums to the library albums. neither. I kept them motherfuckers forever. Yeah, was it the I Can't Drive 55 album? <laughs> Ain't that yeah. Twisted Sister? Hell yeah. yeah the only party thing with you ain't See, my parents Black. had uh, the, Phil, the, the only thing you ain't mentioned is Guns N' Roses because yeah. during that time frame, I was in Southern Cal and I seen all the boys coming on you. up. And oh, slash! It was the very I had, first. I had the tape. I never had the album. It was. I party with Guns Metallica yeah. too backstage. Man, that was a hell of a time. Which one? Metallica. So it was, who? Metallica. Yeah. I had, I had uh, front row seats and backstage passes. Man, it's a hell of a show. I I fucked up. It was when Guns N' Roses was making their quote premiere. And it was um, it was Monsters of uh, Monsters of Rock, the Jeez, very man. first. Hey, how drink as much as you do? Come on, Wes. Wes, yeah. where you got a song? You got some one ninety. This one thirty. Yeah. Oh. We'll see where we're at now. But Let's yeah, my enjoy. dude, my parents had had albums like big old it. cases of albums. For 130, that's got a lot of flavor. That's yeah, back I'll, when it was I'll, cool, though, Phil. You had all those albums and stuff. They had racks of them, you know? I've still got them. I've still got all my albums, wow. my motorcycles. Well, I, Hell, I'm a hoarder, man. I didn't get rid of nothing. I, I, had, I had baseball basement? cards. Man, it pissed me off. I had baseball cards from, like, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. And when my mom moved to Lexington, I was in Florida at the time, and she – Gave a lot of that stuff away, man. I'm talking a lot of valuable baseball cards by today's standards, man. Damn. Oh, it I'm still me. running 190, yeah. Bill. I'm thinking I'm gonna be up pretty Are fucking you? late. That's not when you deflag, every jar is usually the same, man. And yeah, it's the same, drops, and then it'll drop off the shelf so just like that, that, man. Hell. It'll drop off the shelf like nothing, man. It'll go 170, yep. 180. And then boom, next thing you know, you're the bottom. So keep an eye on that. Keep an I'm eye gonna... on that fucking edge you come on down. Now, one thing I tell you about the deflagmators, don't run them until you hit your hearts. Because if you if you do no. run them, you'll compress the heads into your liquor and you'll you'll smear it throughout oh. the run. I don't know. I just wanted to get the heads out of the way. I didn't run it until I well, I mean if you're stripping, it's fine. If it's a stripping run, you doesn't no, matter. This but... is... This is one and done, but uh, I just yeah. Don't I, don't turn that deflagmator on until you get to the hearts, and it uh, it it tastes a lot better on you. No, I didn't. I ran I ran a little over a quart and probably close to a quart and a half of heads before you turned it on, or you just let it run the whole time. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't turn it on until later. Yeah, I, I just gotta put, to a, I gotta put a I'm gate valve on mine. Hot. Just like we were talking about that the other day about putting a gate valve on that, uh, on that coming off that uh, water cooler you got there. I've got to put one going to my deflagmator. I've got a little Ooh. ball valve on there, and I get a that little thing, adjustability out of it, but not enough at all. So, that thing right there is running full blast because I couldn't get my pump won't run the the water fountain and my still. Right. It's just running the condenser, so. Of, what kind of it's a hard pump. I don't know. I tell you what, on Amazon they've got these Vivo Suns. They're green, and the the a lot of people that use hydroponics that run twenty four seven love them because they're they have a good duty rating. Man, they'll run forever. Well, this thing, I got this I got thing one supposed to be like 200, 260 gallons per hour, but I think oh, yeah. this water fountain's got so much like windings in it. It takes a lot That's, of goddamn. Yeah. Pressure to push through it, so yeah, it's, I'm it's compresses it. Yeah, I'm running a second pump on my D flag on the. On the 
it's running into the same reservoir. I tell you what, those, those little pumps that come with the Vevers are about fucking useless, aren't they? Hey, that's what I'm using to run my deep line right now. I tell you what, man, I have one. I tried to use it, and I guess my column was too tall for it. It didn't have enough power to push from the sink to the top of my hey. fucking flat <laughs> no, meter, no, man. It's fucking no, it. down. I said, no. Dude, I just ran into that same problem. All you got to do is, like, you're siphoning something, draw it through, and it'll start pumping the fuck out of it. You just got to uh, put I that. Started. It just, it just too high. It won't, it won't it pump five feet part high. Part Mine's got, I mean, mine's four feet tall from is the it? ground. Up. I mean, from I'm the, running. From the least. pump to the top is five. I, mine would go I mean, five feet. I mean, it's a long fucking way. There, it's coming out of the yeah, t- or out of the cooler and all. I bet. That's, yeah, that's three and a half, four feet. I tell you, mine would go five feet. Mine goes almost to the ceiling, though. It's. it's I had cool. to start it like you're siphoning gas, but once it started going, it it went. Remember. I can tell West getting a little yeah, bit of buzz yeah. on it. West has had a buzz for a while. Yeah, okay, I, I tell you, it's starting to take a little bit of effect there. You starting to get a little. You know, man, I am too, man. This shit, this one thirty is buttered me, man. I like we it. Was all, we was all talking about shit like that. And I'm not using chase. Trying to time herself out. But hell, I remember my daddy coming on home and talking about them damn country singers and shit that he would meet at a truck stop. Like Dolly Parton, Conway Twitty. I mean, yeah. they'd be in their bus and shit at the damn truck stop. My daddy be talking about them in the seventies. Okay. Yeah, I grew up in Eastern Kentucky, man. That there's more country music and bluegrass, and you know, I guess Loretta Lynn was a lot of a lot of bluegrass. Yeah, Loretta Lynn grew yep. up down the holler, and <laughs> now, a lot of country so singers me. come from there. Dwight Yoakam, a lot of good country singers came from that area. And, but another, a lot of people never heard of Marlo Tackett. There was a place there called Marlo's Country Palace. And he was a country. Have you ever heard the song? You picked the fine time to leave me, Lucille. Yep. Yeah. That's, yep. that's Marlo's song. He wrote that and he sang a lot. And that dude was a crooner, man. He he had more women in that county impregnated. I swear he must have. 20 children and 10 fine. wives. You picked a fine time to leave. Yeah. Me and they, he had a bar called Marlowe's Country Palace, and they played country music. And it was a BYOB. It's a dry county. That's why moonshine was so big. It was, you know, you couldn't buy liquor there. You just have to go to the shiner to get it. You know? I used to and, uh, or the bootleggers. I used to read where that song was saying. a lot of party in there. Before uh, fight 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 every fight every fucking weekend, man. It was a fight every weekend. <laughs> Wasn't uh, a Cedarville or or um between Maggie Valley and uh, uh, Dollywood? Wasn't there a dry county in between there? No, that's no, that's that's that Sevierville and um and then you got um Cock County. They're side by side. But wasn't it dry there for a while? Not probably that back I know in the seventies, maybe. Yeah, not that I know of. We used to we used to go there when I was in the Scouts, and it, I think it was by the end back in the seventies. Okay, I'm thinking. I mean, I used that's Gatlinburg. Though. When my babies were little, so that would have been God, uh, um, in the late nineties. Um, used to go on up there. I was thinking it was dry. I don't know about nineties. I know back in the seventies. Nineties. I was thinking it was dry. In that sure. Let me Google. I, I think it was dry there, but I was in the scouts. Huh? But then yeah. around two thousand, I remember going on up there to Pigeon Forge, and it was you could buy liquor up there in Pigeon Forge. So I didn't know. I mean. Like I said, last time I was up there, Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge was about 2001. So 22 years ago, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, you got to go, man. Got to come to Summer Jam. I do, I do. I should have gotten up there for the Winter Jam, honestly. Summer but, Jam's the best, man. It's, Winter Jam's cool, but Summer Jam's the best. I know, but I, you know. But I'm it is hot there. as fuck, man. It is. 
I just, agrees. We all just camped out under the fucking tent this past summer. It's pretty hot. I just want to get on up there and meet everybody and be face to face and not a bunch bunch of fucking tourists and shit. Yeah, it's nice meeting Phil Billy and Ian and everybody. It's 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 a good time, man. It sure was. Drink some of that. Yeah, I love Ian's it. Ian's peach. Yeah, yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> we had a good time, that's for sure. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I mean, and we'll then come down, ate them damn, damn shrimp with us, and had a good time. Well, what we need to do though is is plan a place where everybody can kind of meet together after hours, you know, and and uh, sit and hang out and have a good time because I, I well, what's up my with first time there, and I didn't know where everybody was going, what what was going on. I feel like I got a pretty good parking lot for that, don't I? Those ain't no people. Oh, yeah. I literally, where we stay is in the hotel right beside the, the fairgrounds. So after fairgrounds, man, after everybody leaves, I got a whole parking lot we could all stand in. Now, which, which, cool. which hotel you at, Tom? I need to get reservations. Were we, gonna get a, were we like talking that. about getting an Airbnb or something this for Summer Jam? We need to. <laughs> well. I don't know. Where I'll be honest. Room where I was at. I think we was talking last week about, about everybody getting something. <clears throat> That's a fuck thing. I've already got plans for Minnesota and South Dakota in the month of July. There ain't no way in hell I can get back home here in the month of July. There ain't no way. Ladyville is a pretty good time, too. Great place yeah. to Google it, bro. Say again? Please don't ask me in the comments what the address was for Maggie Valley. I said, Google oh. it. It's uh, 3422 Soco Road. Yeah, I mean, it's like legitimately, Maggie Valley's not 10 miles completely from one end to the other. I don't okay. even think it's that long. No. Hey, hey, if, if, you, it, if you're in Maggie Valley, you will see the festival. <laughs> you will yeah. not miss it. <laughs> you not miss the festival. <laughs> So I think it's just one main road. Down. It's just one main road. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Maggie Valley. Like, when you get you're off the it, fucking Mark. interstate, fucking time. turn right and then just drive. Yeah, you, you're there. You ain't gonna miss it. There ain't no way. Soco Road, you're there. Do they still have that zoo? What's up? I have no idea. Uh, you talking oh. about up on? Towards Cherokee, the Santa Santa Land. It might be fucked. It's been too many. It's been decades ago. Santa Land is there. still there. <laughs> it costs thirty five a person to get in the motherfucker, but it's still oh, there. Man. I so could. Oh fun. God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That might well, be the. That might start be it. Santa Land. What is this is his problem. He needs that bear call. It might be it. Then we come on down oh. through Cherokee and hit that dam uh, right through the casino and then up and around to Gatlinburg, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, Cherokee right there. It yeah, too, it's, yeah, it's called Santa Land. I'm going to get that motherfucker. It's been too many years. And then there's a place up there you could feed bears. I don't know. I don't know if they still let you feed them. But you can pay enough much of money and play with little cubs, I think. Um, but I used to when I was a kid, when I was a kid, we'd get these apple these baskets of apples and they'd let us feed the bears up there. I think they still have that. I don't know, but I know Santa Land is still there. I went last year. I just did it last year. Like Shut up. You can still feed the bears. Oh, they bring gave the, me a couple like the dog in the picture. Bring that dog in the pigeon. Come on. I want to see that puppy. He's just a baby. Yeah, I know. I'm going to fuck with him. You know what? He's going to lose his mind. Roddy. Eat you. Yeah. Roddy. Eat you. Roddy. Eat you. Roddy. Eat you. Buddy of mine, I told him, I said, hey, man, I said, I want a fucking bear paw. He said, okay, and they killed like 30 some fucking bears this past year on the end of that hunt club. Saki, I got a phone call. Guess what I got? A fucking bear. Hey, man, hey. I'd like to have some mittens oh, like yeah. that, man. Wouldn't that be it's cool to have some gloves and some bear, bear balls? Ball. 
Looks like a good back scratcher to me. Yeah, I can say it. Mean, there you go. Oh, crazy, good gloves, man. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Give me some fighting gloves. Oh, yeah. Where's it go? Here it is. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Burger, like, oh, your eyes. oh, shit, y'all. It's. Oh, shit. It's, it's been two away. hours. I got to hop off here. Hell, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got to. We got to. All run. right, boys. Phil, I'll you hurt y'all tomorrow. I got. Hey, I still Phil, got a lot hey, of. Phil, I want to holler at you right, real quick after this, all right? <laughs> I'm all gonna right. stay on here. I'll send you a message on Facebook. 